Welcome back to Warrior Arena, where Jessup enjoyed a nice 63-43 win over the Pacific Union Pioneers. And joining me courtside, Wyatt Studer. It is Studer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Studer, okay, Studer. making sure, you know, because <laughs> you look at it and you think, is it Studer or is it Stutter? Because you played like a stud tonight. Oh, appreciate uh, it. Thank you. Not at all. At 21 minutes of game time, four of six field, three of three from the three-point land, a couple three out of four on the line. What else did you do? Pull down some boards. Uh, yeah, 13 total points, an assist to Sizz, and a plus eight on the night. How did it feel to you first time out? Uh, first time out, body was feeling good, woke up feeling good, got some uh, good food in my stomach. Came out ready to go my first game, first start as an official college basketball player, being a redshirt last year, so super excited. Now, didn't you get to play a few minutes last year? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, because I remember you making some long three balls yeah. in the game that you actually got into, and Coach said, no, we got to save that for next year. I can't let you do that. So yeah. how's the team coming together right now? Uh, pretty good. Um, I love the team. The relationships we're building, the stuff we're doing together, super close as a team. Um, shout out to my guys over there, you know, believing in me, uh, giving me the opportunities that I got to be out here on the court. Yeah, and, and as a red shirt last year, what kind of nuance did you pick up of the game that you're bringing into this season? Um, just being around Coach Darnell the whole, the whole last year, being able to understand his system, you know, get to really feel for the system uh, and just, you know, get to grow in that system and find ways to score, find ways to get my other teammates open, and they're finding ways to get me open, too. They get you open, get you inside on the glass where you can use those hops of yours to get up there. A couple <laughs> of nice blocks tonight. One of them was pretty stupendous. Hope to see that on the highlights. Maybe Matt will pull that off for us and run it, <laughs> yeah, which would so. be kind of cool. So where do we go from here? I know we go back in and do some more, you know, getting ready for the next set of games. Um, you know, for, for how good and how good the win feels, you know, it wasn't a perfect game. You know, we still have a bunch of things to work on. I mean, it's only our first game, and uh, we still got a lot of work on. Uh, a lot of things to make sure we fine-tune, get everything right for the season. And, and what are the things that Coach will have you work on, and how will he have you work them? Are they drills? Is it What is it? Uh, execution. Big, big on execution, just knowing what to do out there on the court when he calls a, a set or a play, um, just making sure we're all in it, um, and just getting that down, make, make sure it's smooth, we're flowing into it, so it's not all choppy and ugly. And that that's comes from repetition in practice, I'm going to guess. Yes, sir. Yeah, keep repping, 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 and then when you get into the game, it should be a smooth flow. All right, so we got more games coming up, which will be fun. We always like having games. You guys are going to head down to Stockton for an exhibition yeah. at uh, Spanos Center against the University of Pacific. That's yes, going to be fun. Excited, exciting. Yeah. Get to drive down there. Never had a game in Stockton before, so can't yeah. wait for that. Pretty big arena, too, so that'll be nice. And then we come back and we get uh, Multnomah, our sister school. Yeah, our sister school uh, out there in Oregon. Uh, excited to get them down there. We lost to them last year, so we're coming for that get back It'll this year. It'll be revenge yep. time. Revenge time indeed. So what do you think that you'll be working on real hard in the next week to get ready for those next games? Uh, just making sure I'm in game shape. You know, being able to be, a, a, I think, a big skill in basketball is being able to stay in the whole game, being able to play the whole game. So making sure I'm in game shape, uh, get my body right, my mind right. Now, getting your body right, does that include running? Is it, you know, running lines? Do you do treadmill? Do you do cross country? Running running on the court, uh, getting up and down, uh, just really just playing basketball. That's, that's that's the best way to put it, just playing basketball, getting better at being a basketball player. When did you start playing the game? Uh, when I was in middle school. Middle school, yeah. so seventh and eighth grade. Yeah. So not before that. No. Now, were you always as tall as you are now, or did you get one of those late growth spurts? You'd go from like 5'9 <laughs> up to 6'2 overnight? No, I was always a little tall kid when I was ever since I was a little, little kid. So. Okay. Well, I did hear you mention good food. What is your favorite? My favorite food? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Any particular flavor or just all of it? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream ice cream. That'll put some weight on you, too. You better be careful with that stuff. I, I need it. I need it, man. Yeah, yeah. It. you know what? I can see you bulking out a little bit. Hit the weights. Yeah, you got some guns. Guns out, sun's out. Or vice versa. I like that well, Thanks for joining me tonight. Appreciate it. Appreciate well, you hope to me. have you on again. You have good games. You get to come on. Yes, sir. Thank all you. All right. You're wet. Well, don't forget to take those off. You might drag them with you because I do it all the time. All right. That's Wyatt Studer. I'm Dave Rosenthal, and that's your ball game tonight. A good one for the Warriors. And let's just check a little bit of statistical information here. Leading scorer of the night was Wyatt with 13, Anthony Eno with seven boards to lead the way, and Aiden Jansen, AJ with three helpers as the Warriors again took control about midway through the first half and then turned on the afterburners and ran away with a 20 point win. We'll come back and do it again. Won't be too long from now. We're back on the eighth, and that starts, I believe, 
our tournament week. So it'll be Multnomah, Simpson on the 15th, and UC Merced on the 16th. So we'll see some NAIA schools before we get into the meat of the NCAA Division II schedule. Hope you enjoyed it tonight. Thank you for listening. Dave Rosenthal bidding you adieu. Thanks to my guys up in the booth. Appreciate their help. And, of course, everybody here on Scorer's Row. And, again, your final score, Warriors run away with this one by a final of 63-43. Good night and God bless from Warrior Arena.